everyone and welcome to the tutorial on the JMARS window orientation. So this video is going to go over a little bit about your layer manager, your lat long box and cursor, pan view versus main view, and a few other things to help get you started with JMARS. So your layer manager is located on your left hand side. This is where all your layers go that are shown in JMARS. You can add layers and delete them and we'll go a little bit more into that in the next tutorial. Above your layer manager is called your lat long box. Every time you open JMARS, it should start at 0, 0. But you can actually change this if you want. If you know the location of where you want to go, you can put it in and press enter. And JMARS will automatically relocate you to that area, which can be really helpful if you know which area you're looking for. Now you might notice that you see two windows, this top view and this bottom view. The top view is called your main view, and your bottom view is called your panner view. Now if you look at your panner view, you'll see two red lines. Inside these red lines is what you're seeing in your main view. So you see this big crater in your main view. Inside your red lines, you see that big crater down here as well. Now if you want to move around and you don't want to have to put in your coordinates, you can do this a couple different ways. But if you go up your toolbar, you'll see that the selector arrow is clicked. So if you click your screen and drag, nothing happens. But if you go up to the top and click the glove, you can click your screen and drag, and it'll move locations for you. But do keep in mind, if you want to do something else, you need to go back and click the selector again. Otherwise, your glove will be activated, and there's not as much you can do with your glove and not your selector. On the right hand side, you'll see a zoom. This is nice and convenient because you can just click and zoom in or out real easily. So if you want a bigger view, you can zoom out. At the top where your glove is located in your selector tool, you'll see other tools that you can use to help you with your process. Well, that's it for this short tutorial. Thanks for joining me. Bye.